What is going on with The Expanse? Is it still possible for a return? Welcome to Sidetrack, your sci-fi TV movie channel. Now, I've spoken to you guys about The Expanse a couple of times. Have I been able to get some really interesting insider information coming from Amcron, the guys that actually own the IP of The Expanse and that made the TV show the first three seasons for Netflix and the second three seasons for Amazon, and that they hope to continue making more of The Expanse in the future? Now, currently, Amazon own the rights to distribution. That basically means that Amcron have sold those rights to Amazon. Amazon solely have the rights to distribute any new Expanse material. And Amcon can really only make it if Amazon want them to. Those rights actually had a two-year expiration date. That basically means for two years after the final season of The Expanse airs, Amazon hold the rights to pick up any new show. After the two years, though, those rights revert back to Amcron and they can start looking for different partners. Now I was able to tell you not long after season six aired that there was real interest in picking up those rights when the two years lapsed. That actually Warner Brothers and HBO were very keen to potentially do a series of movies. That Netflix would have been very interested to actually take the series back. But the most interesting and actually most aggressively interested party was Apple. I can now give you a little bit of an update that Netflix will not be pursuing any new Expanse projects and neither will HBO. They simply can't afford it. They don't want it. They're concentrating on other things, potentially actually concentrating on projects like Babylon 5 instead. They think that is something they already own, something that they can actually do a fresh start, a clean start with and that The Expanse wouldn't be something they want to get involved in. It's a show that's already had two homes. They don't really want to be its third. But Apple are still interested. I spoke to my source over at Amcron just a couple of days ago, and apparently there have been continued conversations because the actual date of this lapse in the contract is quickly approaching. That would be roughly January 2024. So Apple are actually starting to make more serious contact. They are actually starting to have genuine, honest conversations with Amcron about what they would like to do and what Apple would be willing to pay for. So I know a little bit about how some of those conversations have gone. For one, Apple have no interest in just coming straight back with season seven, taken directly from the books written by James S.A. Corey, which, as you know, is actually Daniel Abraham and Ty Frank, two of the executive producers from the TV series. They want to do something that would bridge the 30 year gap between book six and seven. So they may be thinking about looking at some of the beta material. There's been loads of books about The Expanse. There's been several comic books, etc. The Expanse did have a rich and detailed universe, and that is something that Apple would be very interested in exploring further. Apple do have a rich history of taking noveled work like this, I'm thinking about Foundation for one, and doing really loyal to the material work that is detail oriented. They like that sort of slow burn sort of stuff, and they do like high concept sci-fi. They do really consider The Expanse to be the perfect project for them. And actually, I would argue that it's kind of a shame The Expanse didn't go to Apple in the first place because it really is sort of their cup of tea. It really is exactly the sort of project they love. There has, however, been a conversation that maybe I don't think Expanse fans will be quite as excited by. They are actually interested in maybe doing a hard reboot and starting again. But I do hear that that was only quite a brief conversation. And that, to be honest, I can understand that they why they would think about it. The Expanse has had two homes. It's kind of irritating that they're going to come with a new show. But they're kind of relying on the fact that people are going to have to watch the original three series on Netflix and then on Amazon and then come to Prime that Prime are going to be thinking about, okay, I'm going to be bringing in all of this audience from Prime and Amazon that love the show. I'm going to get all these Expanse fans in. 
But am I going to generate new fans? Is this a franchise that we can then actually grow? Well, I think by doing the series that fill in the gap, that 30-year gap between book six and book seven, I think that does give them the opportunity because they can do original stories within universe that explore different aspects of that universe before thinking about going into season seven, which, as I said, was a 30-year gap between the two. It gives you an opportunity to expand the universe and maybe find different directions for it. And I do think that Apple, if they go that way, would be onto something. But the truth simply is that The Expanse is still massively popular. Telltale Games is about to release their computer game version of The Expanse. And people are really loving it. The comic books have been massively popular. There have been a couple of novels that, again, have been really popular. The Expanse continues to be voted really highly in any sci-fi chart that looks at particularly reality and realistic sci-fi. The Expanse always does amazingly well because it is one of the most realistic sci-fi shows ever made. And when anybody does a vote, say, the top 10 sci-fi shows of all time, The Expanse tends to appear on it. This is an incredibly popular sci-fi show with proper sci-fi fans. Okay, maybe that was one of the problems with The Expanse is that you really needed to be a hardcore sci-fi fan to actually get it. Slow Burn doesn't even start to explain The Expanse. And there were a lot of episodes in there that made you sort of go, what are they talking about? There would just be random episodes occasionally that really stood apart, that made sense for the book because it was a chapter within the book that explained something. But as a series, you kind of sort of go, uh, what, is, are they coming back to that? And they just don't. It was a confusing series to watch in times. But once you then got to the end and you watched it again, a lot of those episodes that made you go, well, what are they on about? All of a sudden made sense. So you really had to be a hardcore fan to get it. And I think Apple is the actual one place out of all of the different streaming services that get that, that understand that it's a hardcore sci-fi show and actually will embrace it. I just worry about the fact that it's already had two homes and that perhaps Apple, when it actually comes to putting pen to paper and actually paying money, might have second thoughts. But that is basically where we are at at the moment. If The Expanse does return, it will be, as things stand right now, it will be going to Apple. It will be finding its third home on different streaming service. And it is a distinct possibility that this is going to happen as soon as the deal in January lapses with Amazon. And Amcon can finally actually take one of its biggest projects to a new home. I'd love, though, guys, to know exactly what you think about these possibilities. Is Amcron taking this to Apple something that you would really love? Is it actually the home that makes most sense for a show like The Expanse? If you watch The Foundation and then you think that this company could do something similar with The Expanse, I think it makes total logical sense. But I would love to know what you think. So get into the comments. If you are new to the channel, please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. It really helps us out and you'll never miss any of our new videos. Also, you can go to patreon.com forward slash sidetrack where most of our new videos air first. And for a small contribution each month that really supports the channel, you get to see them without the adverts. You even get a free gift. I mean, come on. We can't say further than that. As always, please stay safe and I'll see you next time.